Welcome back to my channel. My name is Brian from Bang Out Volleyball, and uh, I do educational videos and commentary videos on volleyball gameplay. Uh, and basically, every single ball that I touch uh, whenever I play volleyball, whether it's hitting lines or in game. So, again, if you guys are new here, well, hopefully, you guys enjoy my channel, subscribe, and like the video. So we're starting off with my very first hit coming out of the pandemic and I haven't played in again like the title says two and a half years got a really nice transition here and from here I saw one big block and I was like you know and I gotta avoid that and go super sharp angle so right here I go left side of the ball with my thumb down and I managed to pop the guy in the green shirt um, they did I think they did net so they got a net call on that and we got the point um, Another thing about this game, this was the Terasaki Budokan tournament. It was a really fun tournament. And right here, I was trying to go for a tool. I thought the ball was tight enough where it would hit his hands, and I was really trying to force that tool and uh, just trying to save as much energy as possible because I know we have a long day ahead of us. Um, another thing about this tournament, I needed new shoes, and the shoes I was using were, were the uh, Mizuno Lightning Z6s, and they didn't have enough cushion for my feet due to my knee pain so as you can see in this video I'm using both knee pads and it's my first time wearing these shoes I apologize I had to sneeze and mute myself real quick but right here got a really nice big swing at the seam so I'm always going for that corner whenever I swing and right when I see a seam that's when I know I can really full send and get that shot and so this came out to be a really clean smooth swing I even surprised myself on this. I think I had a lot of adrenaline in me because I was just super excited to play my very first tournament with these guys and my friends. We got Andrew in the middle, Brad playing outside right now. Gabe is an oppo and a setter. We got Adrian setting and Bang is also playing middle. And we got Ralph as libero. Huh. Overall, the goal for this tournament was to have a lot of fun with some friends and not being... You know, not having to play volleyball in such a long time, everyone was just super excited to play again. And I feel like that's what made, you know, playing super fun. Over here, we got a little tip from the outside and I managed to grab it and pop it up. Really, I got a pretty good set for Adrian to swing. It wasn't too far out, but it was inside to the point where it was easy for the blockers to set up. That's the only downside. The other thing is Gabe is already, or sorry, and uh, Adrian's already inside so me pushing it out more is just going to cause them a little bit more trouble overall it was a good block like these guys were really good blockers for the most part um, i also believe from what i was talking i was talking to the coach of this other team i think most of them are in high school like the guy in red is probably like 15 or 16 years old big boy right there um, but you can tell by the gameplay they're very new to the game and our side we've been playing for a few years so the iq is just a little bit higher and at the end of the day it's really cool to see younger players get playing in these high level tournaments because it gives them a chance to experience and see what it's actually like and we came in with a you know as soon as we started playing you can already get a feel for how the other team is already iq wise and their play style so right here i managed to sneak in this super cut shot around the block and I saw I had a I probably wouldn't have had the seam but since the middle kind of flew in more and drifted it was a lot easier for me to get that point so that first set went by really quick we're off to the second set and I decided you know what I haven't played in a while I'm gonna save my legs so we had Ralph play outside I played libero and again at the end of the day we we pretty much knew we had this game in the bag um, but it was a matter of making sure that everyone is still competing and having fun basically there's three teams in the pool and whoever is first place in the pool goes to the first place pool second goes to the second third goes to third um, we got first in our pool we went undefeated and then we went off to the first round playoffs and you'll see in the future video we played against some really tall dudes and they gave us a battle it was crazy over here i got a nice pipe set to brad i just felt like it was easier for me to set him and brad and i have really good chemistry and i knew he was gonna go up 
So just with chemistry, we got the point there. Uh, this video is also going to be super short. Usually I try to go for like eight minutes and above. I didn't really commit to that pass because I thought Gabe was going to go for it. And I was kind of scared for my knees still since I'm still fresh out of the pandemic. Uh, right here we got bang, a really nice kill here. So if you look at this pass, I really cut off the ball by setting my angle and then following through with my legs. Got a perfect pass to a perfect set to bang. So it's absolutely amazing. So again, if you guys got this far in the video, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I know it was a short video, so maybe I'll put some highlights at the end here so we can hit the eight minute mark. So again, if you guys are new, make sure to hit that red subscribe button and like the video and enjoy the rest of these highlights.